I was at a masjid, not over here in America, I was at a masjid, and I was sitting in a, talking to some board members about some program I wanted to do, and a brother walked in, and he heard that I wanted to teach Arabic. He was an Arab fellow, he was an Egyptian fellow, and he heard that I wanted to teach Arabic. And I'm, he's like, you teach Arabic? And I was like, yeah, a little bit. And he said, where are you from? I was like, Pakistan. And he said, oh yeah? And he took out a napkin, and he said, write the alphabet for me. So I wrote down the English alphabet for him. <laughs> and he said, you see, you don't know Arabic. I was like, yeah, you're right, I'm sorry. <laughs> and then he started teaching me the alphabet, 30 minutes. I sat there and I learned the alphabet with him. And then he had to go, and then he left. And that night, that night, at the same masjid, they asked me to give a lecture, the importance of learning Arabic. If you go on YouTube and you search how to learn Arabic and why learn Arabic, why study Arabic, that lecture was at that masjid. And that guy was in the first row, smiling at me the whole time. <laughs> but he comes to me and says, you, Pakistani, you're going to teach Arabic? I'm going to go, oh yeah? Well, sh sh no, 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 wait, wait. It's okay. It's all right. You're right, I don't know anything. It's okay. Don't get worked up. Don't get all full of yourself. If people speak to you in that way, it's okay. They have a right. You know, and, and you, you don't know why people speak to you in this way. There may be some other things going on in their life. You know, and they come to you and they let their anger out on you. You have to be kind of merciful and courteous to people. They were, they were women. They were men that came to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and started yelling at him. From the Badu. They were Muslims. They started yelling at him. And you know, the Prophet sallallahu didn't get upset. He just calmed them down. The Sahaba would have killed them. He said, no, relax. Let it, just peace. You know, this is a sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. When people say things that make you angry, you just gotta calm down. And by the way, guys, men over here, your wife will say a lot of things that make you angry, boy. Oh, ho, 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 ho. And when you hear that, you don't say that she's jahil, but you do say salam. Just be quiet. Don't talk back. Sisters upstairs, ladies, your husbands will say things that will boil your blood. Oh my God, you will get angry. And Allah has given you a special power. I have three sisters, I have a wife, and I have four daughters. I know girls have special powers. And their superpower is they can answer you in a way that will like stab you in the heart. Oh my God, they have the most amazing answers. They'll be like, ah! But you, sisters, when your husband is out of control and he's becoming too emotional or too angry, shh, salam. Change the subject. And salaman, qalu salaman does not mean that Allah says you have to say salaman, somebody's fighting you, like, hey, salaman, salaman, salaman. <laughs> not like that. That's not what that means. Let me tell you what salaman, salaman could be a hal here in grammar. You know what that means? They speak calmly. They don't just say the word salam, they speak calmly. They speak peacefully. They speak in a way that disarms. That doesn't make you angry. You know? And so, for example, you know, one time I was sleeping in the masjid. I was, a, I was in the etikaf and I was sleeping in the masjid. And you know, when you're sleeping, you don't know which, you which way you turn. So I'm sleeping and I woke up because somebody kicked me in the stomach. There was a really old gentleman in our community. He was an Afghani fellow. And he was also making atikaf. He didn't speak any English, any Arabic. He just spoke Pashto only. And he kicked me in the stomach. And I wake up like, oh. And I look at him like. <laughs> and he goes, Quran. My back was towards the bookshelf, which the, where the masahib was. You can't have your back to the Quran, so he kicked me in the stomach. Now I could get up and say, come on. You could have woken me up nicely. or I'm fasting. And then you kicked me in the stomach too. And, but you know what I did? I just hung out with him afterwards. I just sat down with him. I said, can I read some Qur'an to you? You can correct my Qur'an. And we just spoke in sign language. And I recited Qur'an to him. And we just hung out the whole time. You have to deal with people peacefully. You have to calm down when you deal with people. You will meet all kinds of people. All kinds of temperaments. Some, some of you are stuck with a boss. Inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi raji'un. Like he's always angry. He wakes up angry. He, he, you know, he's eating and he's angry. Even, he's angry when he's smiling. Even when he's angry. You know? 
You have that kind of a boss. But you know what? You have to learn to deal with it peacefully. Peacefully. You have employees. You have Some of you are teachers. You have students that make you angry. You got to calm down. You can't get angry in the classroom. Rasulullah وسلم, is told, we were told, إِنِّي بُعِثْتُ مُعَلِّمًا He says, I was sent as a teacher. He sent as a teacher. He never got angry at people. No, and this is never. You know? His servant is telling us that he lived with him. And then he's, and he never told him, do the, why did you do this? Why didn't you do this? The entire time. SubhanAllah. And that's your slave. That's not even your employee. That's your slave. He never said this to them. 